Nate. And I'm Nicole. And this is the Rambulance. <coughs> so Nicole and I have had quite a few camper vans now, and we've been searching for the mecca, in my idea, of camper vans. And we found this 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins with 58,000 original miles on it. And we uh, picked it up a few months ago. And we've just been uh, quickly working on getting it ready for wintertime camping. And uh, I'll go over some of the performance mods here. We did uh, 35 inch um, General Grabber ATXs, uh, Freedom Off-Road Control Arms, adjustable control arms. We did Synergy coils with Fox 2.0 shocks in the front here. Steering, so we upgraded and did a Synergy uh, steering with BD Diesel track bar and Fox um, safe steering stabilizer. So in the rear here, I did um, Firestone Rider Right airbags with uh, Daystar airbag cradles, uh, 4,000 pound brand new leaf springs, uh, Fox 2.0 shocks also in the rear got rid of that old airbag system it was leaking and we ended up going to a single rear tire in the back um, these 16 inch tires have a really high rating for weight we had it weighed and matched the weight to the tires and the rims did a beams diesel uh, fuel sump to go with the fast system. Just completely rebuilt the drive shaft uh, with the carrier bearing. So I did three U-joints in the carrier bearing yesterday. You can see under here I did a Hellwig rear sway bar in which I had to elongate the sway bar links because of the lift in the rear. Just another shot back here. I did a Mag High Tech Dana 80 diff cover. And you can see I did uh, stainless steel brake lines in the rear. A lot of the brake lines are rusting out. We also went with a four inch uh, diamond eye exhaust. mostly focus on performance for now and we're going to start building out the inside here any minute but uh i'll just show you the, all the boxes on the outside we'll show you the inside <laughs> here we got our onboard air this is what used to run the old airbags but now i can use the air up and down our tires and our airbags uh, it's also a pass through to the inside we're going snowboarding later today so this is the entrance. In the back here, we got the Cummins Onan commercial 4,500 watt generator, which is awesome. It's, it slides out to work on it. It's not as loud as I thought it might be. Here is the uh, rear door. Let's open this one up real quick. We uh, temporarily put in a Chinese diesel heater. We've got our tank coked up here. It's been keeping us pretty warm, but lots of storage in here. Here's uh, our wiring mess for now. We haven't cleaned it up, but these are our house batteries for now, and uh, our, our on and off switch and our fuses. This is the stock stuff that came with all the you know, all the relays and stuff. It's actually super clean. It's got a battery tender and then I put in a battery doctor to separate our house from our main batteries. This is like every tool you could ever need while being on the road. So far, this has already helped a ton for our minimal drive, driving we've had on it. We've had a few roadside repairs.
pretty cool. Uh, this particular Frasier ambulance came with a built-in AC and um, heat pump. So if I ever have any problems with the diesel heater, I can kick on the generator and we have air conditioning and heat. And for right now, I just put a shunt in to monitor our voltage and a switch bank and our diesel heater. So. Nothing too much for now, but we're gonna start working on it here any day now. Hey, Squaw Valley opening day. Just got back from, uh, got up here from camping in Dog Valley. And we forgot to show you guys this pretty sweet other drawer here. We can fit all of our snowboard stuff, snowboards in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 